Military weapons are advancing at an incredible rate. If you compare old World War weapons to what we have now, the technology involved is mind-blowing. But there is a new arena when it comes to military hardware, and that's robots that do the fighting for humans. Imagine a battlefield of fully autonomous robots fighting a massive battle and taking orders without human casualties. Well, okay, that might be pushing it. But check out these amazing military robots that will change the course of warfare. Doggo Named after the Argentinian Mastiff breed of dog, the Doggo is a compact powerhouse of muscle and force. It can traverse over any obstacle, including climbing flights of stairs. It is equipped with six wide-angle cameras, allowing the operator to see in a 360-degree view. Not only can it spot targets remotely, but it is also armed with a Glock pistol that harbors two additional cameras along the barrel. Of course, the gun itself is a Glock 26, a baby Glock that is slotted into the robot and has a magazine of 14 rounds. The operator uses a point-and-shoot interface using their fingers to aim the laser, resulting in a pinpoint accuracy with each shot. The Doggo can fire five rounds in two seconds, and because of its size, it is not affected by the recoil. The robot also has some additional features that have been added for police use, such as microphones and speakers for remote negotiations, and a Picatinny rail that can be outfitted with non-lethal weapons such as pepper spray. GuardBot The GuardBot was originally designed with the idea of a planetary mission on Mars, allowing this robot to travel on any solid surface at 9 miles per hour, through sand and snow, and in water where it can travel upstream at a brisk 3 miles per hour. This is one of the more passive robots that the military has considered using mainly for surveillance and detection. The drive is powered by a motorized pendulum that changes the bot's center of gravity. The pendulum motion drive system can last up to 25 hours on one charge moving continuously, or up to 45 hours stationary. It's fitted with a variety of sensors, audio, and GPS that allows the unit to be controlled remotely or via satellite and can even be mapped to follow a specific set path. Each unit can be customized with different treads and sizes ranging from 5 inches to 7 feet in diameter. The GuardBot is still in development, so it remains to be seen if the device will be considered the future of mobile surveillance. Gladiator With a height of about 6 feet, armed and weighed in at 1,600 pounds, the Gladiator is a compact, tactile, armored, unmanned, teleoperated ground vehicle that can easily be considered the most valuable multi-tool of the Marines. It has been developed to support troops conduct ship-to-object maneuvers to minimize risk and eliminate threats. Two different payloads are on board these particular units, a remote weapon station and a CART or Combat Armed Robotic Targeting Module. The robot can assist in cover fire while also being able to bring supply to soldiers at the line of fire or anywhere there is high amount of risk with critical and larger assets. The CART is a targeting designation system in which the unit can remotely assign targets for an aircraft or any type of laser-guided munitions. It can be fitted with a variety of weapons, such as an M134 minigun that can fire an impressive 3,000 rounds downrange in under a minute. Another popular choice for these units is Anti-Personnel Obstacle Breaching Systems, or APOBs, that allow safe breaching of complex obstacles such as landmines or the disposal of improvised explosive devices. The combinations of these all-around vehicles seem limitless and will most likely be used so long as there are live troops on the ground. Robot Stingrays We are not as far away from having robotic humans as we used to be, and we are even closer to robot stingrays. Yes, stingrays whose biomechanics are surprisingly easy to recreate. The robot Stingray is made from both titanium and aluminum skeleton with silicone fins and is a mobile swimming mine. The inner layer is made out of sound-absorbing materials that allow the metal from the mine to be hidden from sonar. It even has an ultrasonic self-protection system since its design is so lifelike that it is highly likely to be considered food for their natural predators. Although the mine isn't the fastest, capping at 6 miles per hour, it can keep up that speed for 12 hours. 
Sleep mode also allows the mind to remain dormant until it receives its order to strike. There have been several similar ideas from other countries for a maritime mine, including the U.S. Navy's MK-67 submarine-launched mobile mine, or SLMM, which is a torpedo-like weapon that can be used to travel to a remote location and post up on the bottom of the ocean floor while it waits for its target. However, it's the latest idea coming out of Turkey, named the Wataz, that adds this stinging twist. Naturally, details for the mine isn't readily available, but it has been in development for two years, which suggests that this project will eventually make its debut.